you might have seen this well-known uh, drawing of a person standing inside a, on the circle and also in, inside a square. Okay, so this picture has got lots of mats. Okay, so let's look at the mats here. So if you look at this person, this person is standing uh, on a circle and also inside a square. So this is a square. This is a square. That means all the sides are equal. So this side is equal to this side is equal to this side. All the sides are equal. Okay, now if you look at the height, this is the height of the person and this is the arm span of the person. This is from year to year. From year to year it's called arm span. So if you talk about arms height and arm span, what can you see? What does the picture tell you? Arm span and height. Does the picture tell you something about the height of the person and the arm span of this person? Well, if, a pers if this person is standing uh, inside the square, this picture is telling me that the height of this person is equal to the arm span of the person. Okay, that's what the picture is telling me. Now, is this true in real life? Okay, that's what we want to check. So we want to check, or we want to test. Okay, so this is a hypothesis, or we'll start with the question, is height, right in short, height of a person equal to the arm span of the person? arm span of the person. This is what I want to check. So what I've done is I've drawn a scatter graph. So I've taken about 50, yeah, 50 students of year 9 and uh, taken the height on the x-axis and arm span on the y-axis and drawn the scatter plot. This is a scatter graph. So if you look at the scatter graph, if you ignore this, this seems to be an outlier. Okay, so there is a person having a height about 164. This is a person with a height of 164 and a arm span of 120, which is very unlikely. So this seems to be, this is very unlikely. So if you ignore this point, which is an, which seems to be an outlier, I'll, count, I'll explain how I drew this later on. And if you look at these points, you can see from the scatter point, scatter plot, that as the pers the height of the person is increasing, the arm span is also increasing. Okay, so if we, let's take about let us talk about this 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 person or this boy. This boy has a height. Uh, this person, if you look, suppose let us plot it. Let's read this plot roughly. So this is on. Okay, so this. This person seems to be a person with a height of about 168. Okay, so this is a person with a height of 168 and a arm span of 180. Okay. Okay, if you look at suppose this point, this is a person. So let us plot understand this. If you look at this person, this person has a height of 150 and also an arm span of 150. I hope you can see that. This person, this dot, represents two things. This person has a height of 150 centimeters and an arm span of also 150 centimeters. So it seems that our test, our, our question does make sense. Okay, so now, so and I've drawn the Excel can also draw this line, which is called a trend line. This is also, this is called a trend line. This is called a trend line. So what Excel does is, it's a very complicated calculation. When you come to year 13 and you learn stats, you'll understand how Excel uh, draws this line. But this line tells me that as the height of a person increases, the arm span is also increasing. So this is an increasing line, or this in, in simple language, this is called an increasing line. Increasing line. And the equation of this line is, I'll explain this later on in Excel, that the arm span of the person is, 
So let me write the equation of this line, or what does this line tell me? In simple language, it, it's telling me that the arm span of the person, of any person, is 0.9 times the height of the person. HT stands for the height. And 16 is, of course, uh, the y-intercept. It doesn't make sense here. It, you can cross the 16 out. Excel will give you 16, but we have to use our own brain and decide, well, 16 doesn't make sense here. But we can say that the arm span of a person is almost 0.9 or is almost 0.9 times the height. That means 0.9 is almost 1. So here, from this Excel or from this spreadsheet uh, uh, scatter graph, we can say that arm span is almost equal to the height of the person. Is almost equal to the height of the person. So this scatter graph does prove this. I would like you to take your own measurements of your height and your arm span and test this theory. Okay. So let me show you how I drew this on Excel. So what you do is, this is what I was talking about. This is the height and arm span of 50 students. So first, you highlight the data like this. Highlight the data, and then you go to Insert, uh, Scatter. Yeah, and so if you go on the top, it is sitting there. So this is, and this is what I made it tidy. So delete this. And I'll format the axis, format it's from 120. I'll go from 120 to 185. Or one, yeah, 85 would do. Scale of 10. This is 10. So this is your, I formatted the x axis and the y axis. You can format the y axis. I want to go from 100. To how much this is 210. This is 210 scale of 10. Okay, and this is, and then you can go to layout, uh, chart title about the axis, and yeah, or you can click on this so the end you can write scatter graph, scatter plot of height versus arm span of year nine students. Okay, so this is your title. And then you can again go to axis title, horizontal, and then you can write your height in centimeters, and then axis vertical, and I want this is arm span in centimeters. Okay, so this is how, and then let me make it bigger so that you can see. So this is your scatter graph. Okay, so once you draw this, you can click on, on the points, click on the points. Anyway, these points are highlighted. You can click also here, doesn't matter. You can click on the points and add trend line. And this uh, window will open. You want a linear, and you also want uh, display the equation on the chart. So display equation, and so here is the equation. So let me drag it out. So this is what the equation is. So y, your y is standing for arm span, and your x stands for your height. So what I did was I removed y and wrote arm span, and 0.9022x. So this is 0 0.9. And 16 doesn't make sense. You can delete that 16. So 0 0.9 times, let me use the star key, times the height. So this is how you can get, you can make this bigger if you want to see this bigger. Okay, you can make this. Okay, so I think you can see this. So this is the scatter graph. And you can also say that the arm span of the person is almost equal to the height of the person.